So you want to main Kronos, keeper of time. First, ask yourself, why do you want to main Kronos? You love trolling your enemies. You're a fan of fast-paced gods. You enjoy satisfying kills. But before you choose to main him, it's good to know the cons of Kronos. He's not the easiest god to play. You need to react fast and keep track constantly. In this guide, we're exploring Kronos as a carry and mid, going through his abilities, attack cancelling, combos, builds, counters, what not to do, and general combat tips. We'll be going through this guide from a conquest perspective, but don't worry, you can easily implement this guide into other game modes as well. With that, let's go through Kronos abilities. Kronos passive, Time Lord. Every two minutes, Kronos gains a stack that increases in magical power. This stacks up to 25 times. Stacks will be permanent. Straightforward passive, it's just a buff that requires you to do nothing. Basically, the longer the game goes, the stronger Kronos becomes. If the game reaches 50 minutes, he will reach a maximum stack of 125 magical power from his passive alone. Kronos' first ability, Time Rift. Kronos 1 is a ground target ability type. Kronos creates a rift in time, damaging all enemies in the area. This is his main damage and clear. This ability can be a little hard to hit without any CC or setup. Kronos' second ability, Time Accelerate. Kronos 2 is a buff ability type. Kronos accelerates himself over time, allowing him to move faster initially. He will then gain speed over time for the duration of the buff. While active, his attack speed is increased. This ability will also stop the Wheel of Time. As you can see on the Wheel of Time, it has four sections, which each grant a unique buff to Kronos. Section 1, Kronos will heal 1.5 max health per second. I would use this one when you've lost some health and you want health regeneration. You usually use this when you're being a bit passive and you don't need your second ability for anything else. Section 2, 100% mana refund on abilities. This is great early game when you're still a bit passive, use this while clearing minion waves to conserve mana. Section 3, 25% magical power. I would use this when engaging an enemy with your abilities. Section 4, 35% magical power contribution to basic attacks. This is great for enemy structures and basic attacking your enemy to death. All of them are very useful in their own way. This ability is also great to use as an escape and travel due to the movement speed buff. Kronos' third ability, Stop Time. Kronos 3 is a line ability type. Kronos shoots forward spinning gears. Enemies hit by these gears will have their attack speed reduced. They will also become stunned. The enemy will take initial damage and then again when stunned. This ability is his main CC and setup. Kronos' ultimate, Rewind. Kronos Ultimate is a leap ability type. Kronos travels through time to where he was 8 seconds ago. Kronos gains health and mana back to the values of that time. All of his cooldowns are instantly reset as well. This ability gives Kronos a second chance at surviving and fighting the opponent. It's Kronos' main escape in sticky situations. Now let's get into the leveling priority for Kronos abilities. For the first 5 levels, at level 1, his 1, at level 2, his 3. At level 3, his 1. At level 4, his 2. At level 5, his ultimate. For leveling priority, his first ability for increased damage, his third ability for increased damage and decreased cooldowns, his second ability for increased movement speed and attack speed, his ultimate for decreased cooldown. So basically, 1, 3, 2, 4. Attack Cancelling for Kronos Attack Cancelling allows for some extra damage. Basically, if you watch closely, it will cancel out some of the animation and go right into another basic or ability. This gives you consistent DPS and it's not mandatory to learn if you don't want to. For his first ability, his first ability on Quick Cast, as soon as you basic, use your first ability. As soon as you use your first ability, use your basic. For a second ability, as soon as you basic, use your second ability. As soon as you use your second ability, use your basic. 
For his third ability, his third ability on quick or instant cast. As soon as you basic, use your third ability. Combos for Kronos Before we get into combos, a few pointers. Kronos ultimate is a great escape, but it can also be used to continue engaging on the enemy. Meaning, apart from using his ultimate as an escape, you can also use it tactically. So if you've already used all your abilities on the enemy, you can just go back in time and have your abilities back up again to use them on the enemy a second time. Another way to use Kronos ultimate is to go back in time if you need more mana. This will put you back at the previous values 8 seconds ago. His first ability can be hard to hit without any form of CC. Remember what his sections do and use them accordingly. The ones you'd be using the most in fights are section 3 and section 4. The one you'd be using the most when damage has been taken and you're playing passive is section 1. The ones you'd be using the most early game are section 1 and section 2. I recommend always using your second ability before an engagement. Apart from the direct buff it gives you, it also gives you much needed attack and movement speed. It's easiest to hit his third ability when you're close to the enemy. It's very slow moving, so it can be easy to avoid. Kronos relies on his basic attacks. He is very basic attack heavy. Make sure to use them before, after, and in between. Kronos only has one combo, and that's 2, 3, 1. But remember, you do need to weave basic attacks in between the abilities. You can also do 2, 3, 1, alt, 2, 3, 1. For this combo to work, you will need to have them stick around in the same location for 8 seconds or at least stay close to them. This is great for enemies who are outboxing you. Even though he only has one combo, keep in mind that you'll have to time it right to the right section of his second ability for each situation. Remember that his ultimate can be both used as an escape and a way to reset your cooldowns. Also, keep note that your ultimate will put you back in the location you were 8 seconds ago which would put you further apart from your enemy. Builds for Kronos Builds always depend on what kind of enemy you're up against. My builds in this video are just a general guideline. You can adjust accordingly depending on your game and situations. Kronos can take both roles of an ADC, carry and mid. Generally built the same in both roles. Hunter's Blessing Tier 1 of Bancroft's Talon Shoes of the Magi Finish Bancroft's Talon Demonic Grip Telekine's Ring, Obsidian Shard, Rod of Tahuti. Other items you can pick up but not limited to are Polynomicon, Celestial Legion Helm or Dynasty Plate Helm. You can replace Bancross with this item instead if you're an ADC carry against a physical opponent. Divine Ruin if you need anti-heal. Typhon's Fang for more lifesteal. Winged Blade against slows. For Relics, Kronos generally picks up Purification Beads and Aegis Amulet. Counters of Kronos not acting fast enough. Kronos ultimate is his direct escape. It has a pretty slow wind up time, giving a short window for enemies to attack you. Beats counter Kronos third ability. Slows counter Kronos. Winning the game as quickly as you can, seriously. He gets stronger the longer the game goes on. What not to do as Kronos. Do not wait too long with your ultimate for escapes. It takes quite a bit to wind up. Do not ignore his basic attacks. Use them every second you can. Do not use your second ability randomly. Each section is important for different situations. General combat tips for Kronos. Use your second ability to close the gap between you and an opponent. Use your mana refund early. This will help with conserving mana during wave clear. Use your second ability to close the gap and then use your third ability. Do not put yourself in sticky situations without your ultimate. Watch the wheel of time, keep it in check, use the right section for what you want and need and plan ahead. Play safe early game, before hitting level 5, you're pretty easy to gank. If the game isn't going too badly, don't surrender. Kronos gets stronger the longer the game goes. Kronos tower push is pretty crazy, focus structures when you can. And that is all for the Kronos guide. If you'd like to request a god guide or simply just to support me, you can find a coffee donation link in the description box below. Let me know what god you would like to main next in the comments. Subscribing and likes would be super rad, clicking the bell really helps me out, I hope to see you for the next one.
Bye.